All right, guys, just back from a vacation in Puerto Rico. I bought a couple of locks. This is uh, the largest Toledo that I could find in a hardware store. So let's uh, see if we can get into this thing right out of the box. Give you a couple of techniques on how to attack a lock for the first time. This is how I usually do it. Get all that junk out of the way. Let's just make sure it does work before we waste a lot of time. Okay, it does. Very smooth. Nothing dragging. And we don't need no stinking keys. All right, let's get the clamp up here. All right, whenever I attack a lock for the first time, I've never seen the key, really don't know a lot about it. First thing I want to know is, particularly padlocks, is it shielded? So the first thing I'll do is I'll take a probe, stick it up in there, and this one appears shielded. So right away, we know that's not going to work. Second thing I'm going to do is find a good tension wrench that'll fit without binding. And you can tell because you move it back and forth and the core turns. That seems to be about right. And then I will try to rake it. Let's see if I can find a pick here. I'm going to try, first of all, I will try the sparrows. Here we go. This is called the worm. It's not quite as tall as the Bogota copy. And we'll move to the Bogota next. But sometimes you can rake them open. In which case you save yourself a lot of time picking. And there we go. Nothing to it. Okay, had that not worked, let's lock it back up. If that had not worked, I would have moved directly to the uh, Bogota. Again, same tension wrench. And rake it. Sometimes the Bogota's, uh, the angle is just too much. That's why I like to start with the lower one. That also worked. So, man, a huge lock. Nothing to it. And lastly, let's just take a regular standard pick here again with the same tension wrench stick it in there light tension I'm gonna put the pick in upside down and what we're gonna to try to do we're just gonna to try to rock it okay that you know, damn that does work okay <laughs> and not to want not because I want to ruin the video but I'm gonna to try to zip it as well so again, I'm going to just take it in there, apply light tension, and just zip the pick out. And see if we can get it to cooperate. And this doesn't always work, but uh, sometimes it you lock your pins up, uh, recock it, and you can try it again. And there we go. Okay, I think I better quit while I'm ahead. Obviously not a very uh, high secure lock. The Toledo T070. I cannot recommend it. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay legal, stay away from Toledo. You know, I realize there's probably a couple other ways we can get in here, so I figure I may as well cover all the techniques. Let's go ahead and try to SPP it. This is the last uh, resort because if I would only do this if, for example, the rocking and zipping and all the other uh, ways to get it open didn't work, then I might try to SPP it. See, it takes a little bit longer. And the last technique that I forgot to cover because I didn't have them handy is, let me close this up, we're going to try to shim it. So I had to dig these out of the drawer, and I notice on the top of this lock they are, you got some pretty wide gaps up there. So shove the shim in there. Shove a shim in there, and you're gonna kind of work this one around and at that point, you get it open. So every way possible, hard to believe I paid 23 bucks for this thing. Anyway, fellas, thanks again.